What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special car. This is a 2012. It's a Buick Lacrosse and we have a problem with the car. Today the customer states check engine is on and also he says that sometimes the car lost power during uh, driving like power reduce. So I hooked my scanner in to pull all the codes that the car has. And let me just show you here really quick. All right, so the codes that I have are right here. Let me just put those. So here we have the car, 2012 Buick. That's the B number. It's a 2.4 liter uh, with the engine number code LUK. And it's a hybrid one. So we can see it says hybrid power train module. So let's scroll down for the codes and we see here, this is the code we have, P0AC4, uh, code stored in the hybrid module. And yep, these are the codes that we have, drive motor one in better phase U, high temperature and hybrid battery pack, cooling system performance as well. So on this car, what's going on is it says basically that the car was overheated, but not in the engine. Uh, it was all it's overheating uh, in the battery pack. And also this car has an inverter, uh, which is the alternator, but it's together that converts the uh, alternating current to direct current for the batteries. And that one's high voltage and it's located down there. I'm going to show you to you in a little bit. But the one we have to focus more is this one because I've been doing my diagnostics already and I found that the fan for the battery pack is not turning on. That one is located back there. I'm going to show you in a little bit how you can test it with a multimeter or if you have a test probe, you can do the same. So let's jump in right into the car and I'm going to show you how you can fix this problem if you're having the same issue on this car because I haven't found any information about how you can fix this and also this car comes from two shops already because they couldn't figure out what's going on with the car but i already did so uh let's not waste more time and let's go in all right so first of all here we have the regular battery they even changed the battery because they thought it was something wrong with the battery but it's not and this is the alternator for this car as you can see it's a big one and we have the wires coming out of it, that's the uh, orange wire that goes to the transmission, the stator. And this one has like three wires in there and also is connected to the cooling line, which is this one. And this cooling line has a electric pump, which is this one. I already tested out this pump and it's good. And let me show you the trunk where you can see the battery you have to remove um, not the seats, but just got to remove a little bit of plastics here. So on this one, we have the ba the battery pack, which is this one, big one. And we have the fan right here. Yeah. So this is the plug for the fan. Here we have a 12 volt constant power. We have a ground. And we have three wires in the middle. One is going to detect the revolutions per minute of the... Uh, of the fan and one is gonna be the control to turn it on and off which is the uh, duty cycle they call it and yep those are the wires from I guess the battery and it goes to the front it's just a uh, big system so I'm gonna show you how to test the fan right now uh, using a power proof tool and I'll show you with the multimeter tool how you can check it if you don't have that tool all right so to do this test, we have to open the switch on this car because we're gonna need power on the back of the fan. And I'm gonna take the scanner so you can also see what I'm gonna do over here. Just to make it a little bit quick, I have my test prof right here. And I'll show you that the first one always have a power and the last one is gonna be a ground. So the duty cycle for this fan is gonna be this one. That's the one that, that actuates the fan to turn on. 
and probably it's not gonna, gonna turn on because if I put power in nothing happens and I will use the scanner just to show you that the scanner commands the fan to turn on but the fan is not responsive with the multimeter you can do the same you just gotta put direct current bolts in the number 20 and the lead for the negative is obviously the negative over here and the positive is gonna be this one and if you see 12 volts here then you have 12 volts over there and you just leave the black one there and that's pretty much how you, how to use it it's pretty simple not too hard once you start uh, learning how to use it then it becomes really easy to to understand so right now I'm gonna auto detect the car because I don't remember um, let me just plug in the the thing because I don't have it right now alright guys so I'm here in the system run already into the uh, scanner so what I'm gonna do is I have to find the the drive I guess it's the drive motor control module and I'm gonna no it's not that one I'm looking for the actuation of the fan an active test active test it's gonna be this one so we have to go into the hybrid powertrain module active test and hybrid battery pack cooling fan here I can see the revolutions once I select my data pit um, so here we have it 14 volt module fan speed and if I increase it we see that it's not even working and I'm gonna put this right here so you can see that it's sending the power to this as you can see it's sending power already and let me just decrease it and once you decrease it probably it's gonna be there but not as much amperage because it's the force uses so if I exit it's gonna cancel that and there you go it's I'm gonna try to leave that right there so you can hear it I'm gonna press the button right here sorry the camera is a little bit fuzzy and I'm gonna increase and you can hear that it's sending the signal to turn on so that confirms that the fan for this battery is not good and I actually have it already I already got a ship from the dealership so I'm gonna show you right now here are my uh, my desk for programming and stuff I have a lot of work as you can see too much things so let me just bring the box and I'll unbox it here alright so as you can see here's the fan this is the part you're gonna need for this type of car for the hybrid ones because there's two different ones actually and this is the uh, the fan for the hybrid battery pack and this is gonna be the part number uh, if you can see it right here is this one this is the gym part number one three five two one two seven three and this is the part you want to get for your hybrid car if it's having issues with the overheating as well and yep I'm gonna change it and see what happens um, before I even remove everything I'm just gonna plug it in so you can see that this thing it's gonna work all right so I'm gonna unplug it right here just to confirm that the issue is the fan let me just plug here because it's hard and I'll be back all right so that thing is unplugged and honestly it's a little bit hard to film with one hand and the other one so please be patient with me all right so I'm gonna plug this bad boy right here All right, give me one second. All right, so the fan is plugged in. I'm gonna try the same test again. Come on, hybrid pack, and let's see what happens. Ooh, and this one is working, and you, you can see, I have revolutions now. So let's exit, and there you go. That's gonna be the whole problem for this car. The fan, a defective fan for this one, and I couldn't find any TSBs for this. 
and yeah that's pretty much it the problem the problem with this car so now what I, what I have to do is disassemble it and install the new fan and it will be ready to go hopefully the customer will never have a problem with the overheating and let's call this problem fixed all right so this will be the end of the video guys please if you haven't and if you have any questions comment down below like subscribe hit the notifications button and i will see you on the next episode guys jb fix out